No. Wait. What's going on out there, Gromit? No, that seemed right. That was something. So then what? Get us out of here! The joke book. Um, maybe try and tune it now? Too stupid, but... What am I trying to do here? Seriously. Help! Get us out of here! Help! Help, I say! Help! Help! Hmm. Please, help! Can I just stop that periodically? Help! I can't. Help anybody! Anyone there? Help! Help! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh, man, you were... Oh, that is so annoying. What a fucking pain in the ass. And, you know, I don't like to complain, but Jesus Christ, that has to be the worst thing to possibly listen to. Oh, my God. All right, so I, I'm just going to do my thinking here, I guess. I mean, I can use the measuring stick over there. Um, well, I I, I got to do something with the brass butler for sure, but uh, I don't seem to be able to do anything with it, really. Uh, the idea is, I guess, to, uh, well, put the measuring stick in there so it will keep hitting something whenever it passes by that spot. Um, so I have to f get something down there, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what. Hmm, God, all right. Let's see if maybe I can interact with the grate or something. Oh, what a terrible situation here! Will somebody help us, please? Help! All right, so that does something. Help! Measuring plot now, door. not. We need some help. Will someone get it out of here? We're suffocating in here. There's no more. Oh, there's Chomping Gate. Help! I say! Oh dear. Oh, what a carry on. What a kerfuffle. I say, oh, help! Help! Somebody! We're Mushroom? trapped! Trapped! Wait. Oh. Alright, let's try putting the mushroom with the. No. It would just hit the. No. Okay, um, can I do something with the, no. Help! Oh, this is so getting on my nerves. I mean, it's, I gotta activate the Brass Butler, I'm sure of that. Lift a hand, lad, and shift the pull! Hmm, wasn't there... Okay, I just don't know what to do here. No. No, shut up. Alright, fire. So is that what's fueling the entire thing? So I gotta put out the fire. What's taking you so long, lad? Doesn't want to do anything. No. Ah, uh, clearly not. Mushroom? No. What's going on out there, I'd say I have to reach one of those bells or something, but... I'm... Get us baffled. Out of here. I couldn't use that, right? Help! No. Get us out of here! Help! Help, I say! Help! Help! Please, help! Help! I'm trapped! I can't move the arms at all! Will you... No! Oh! Alright, go through then. Please! Uh, help! It's Mr. Panier here! Please help us! Tiki time, not just a joke book that wouldn't do anything with it. Is anybody there? Somebody help us, please! Promise! Help! Help anybody! Anyone there? Help! Help! What a 
Oh, help liquid. That here. seems good. Well, help us, liquid seems good. Help. Help. But and I'm gonna need more than that teacup, door. right? Um, we need some help. Will someone get it out of here? We're suffocating no. in here. Ooh, this Can I help. do something with Ooh, the tea okay. time bell? So we'll solve serve it more. Ooh. Wait, it just disappeared. Um, do that? Will that do something? Oh yeah, right, of course. I see. <laughs> wow. Impressive. That seems to be it. Just put the measuring club back where it was and it will just fling the, uh, the seat. Fucking hell, guy. And put it back over here. There was more than one, I was going to say. Nice. I like that puzzle. I just... Oh my... What's going on oh, out there, fucking hell. Phew. Thanks, lad. Close friends are a fine thing, but that was a bit too close. Well... Why people are so keen on country clubs is a mystery to me. Then you meant what you said in there about quitting Prickly Thicket. For you, my little sprig of healing. Uh, just a second, Felicity. I don't oh, think I've been introduced you're to the so man. Romantic. Sand bath, most invigorating. Cleans out the pores. Reminds me of the good old days in the Sahara. You know, Constable Divins, I hear on Grapevine there may be another, uh, opening at Prickly Thicket. And I've heard a certain grocery shop may be reopening soon, too. <laughs> well, old chum, I'd say Golden Retrieval's first professional investigation has gone rather... <coughs> Wallace, this is rather awkward for me to say. I, I, I mean, I, I know your feelings about me. Oh, uh, you do? You see, in the heat of adversity, I've discovered that my heart belongs to another. Oh, uh, right -o. So, please, don't say anything to prolong our agony. I must therefore return this to you. Hi, oh, heck, lad. That's two close shaves in one afternoon. I don't know about you, but I could murder a copper. Oops. Hang on, just a sec. Deed. Time for some cheese, methinks, Gromit. What do you fancy, lad? Eat am or Wensleydale. Alright, that was episode four then. The final episode of the Grand Adventures. And despite that, oh god, fucking awful ending. And with that, I don't mean the actual ending, I just mean the friggin' yelling. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. That was really good. Yeah, that was... I mean, just like the other episodes, they're just good. They're just solid. They're, they, they, it's all got a certain charm to it, and I, I really appreciate that. And, yeah, I just... I, I mean, I know I said it before, but I'm just hoping that... Uh, they will bring out another season, because that would be great. That would be absolutely great. I mean... 
I, I don't feel like there's too much to say. If you've seen this, you, you've seen the charm it has. How, you know, it's a solid adventure game. It's not the hardest, though. There are some jumps and logic, or at least they're jumps to me. Maybe they're baby steps to uh, some of you, but... Uh, yeah, apart from the odd, weird puzzle that I just is not logical to me, then uh, yeah, it they're just good. They they're even good for for well, I'd say kids, but um, well, the younger audience would definitely appreciate its style and such. But uh, some of the puzzles and wordplay, no, they that that definitely wouldn't fly with uh, well, at least non-English speakers. Because even at times I just have words, you know, all the golf terms, like, I don't know. Hell, I don't even know that in Dutch, because I don't simply care for it, but uh, then having that in English, you know, a second or third language to some of you, yeah, that, that seems bad, but, uh, you know, the, you can't blame the game for that, because, yeah, it's, they're just good games. They're just very good, all around. And it's always just fun to play them, always fun. Likeable characters as well. Now, kind of the same characters over and over, but that's fine, because you learn to appreciate them that way. So yeah, no... I, I'm actually thinking, like, what are the real downsides of Wallace and Gromit? Um... <laughs> I'm kind of drawing a blank there. No, they're not amazing games that are definite must-plays, but they were just very good, very solid adventure games that are very light-hearted and very enjoyable to just about everyone. And that by itself is an accomplishment. But yeah, what are the downsides, really? I mean, well, one minor thing is that the, uh, you know, the voice quality sometimes wasn't too great. But uh, I know that it's mostly because, uh, uh, well, arcade releases. Uh, I'm pretty sure they also brought this out on uh, Xbox Live, which made them uh, basically uh, reduce quality to, say, file size. Which, uh, yeah, they probably shouldn't have kept that in the PC version, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah, that's what the only real thing that I disliked about them. I mean, the story's always been very enjoyable. Just good, solid chapters, I guess. I mean, it, it just shows that Telltale know what they're doing with their adventures. And if they would make a new series, you know, I'd be there. I'd be there. I'd definitely play that. Because that's, uh, looking forward to it. I just hope that this season does actually sell well enough. But uh, it's not been doing too great, sadly. Uh, at least the last from what I've heard. It uh, hasn't been doing too great. But yeah, it's definitely a game. Or, you know, a game? Or should I... Games? Well, I'd still call it one game. There are just four chapters to the one game. But uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it to others. And you should probably do too, because they're great. They're worth sharing, at the very least. I've totally not been paying attention to all the, uh, the names floating by. I'm sure there's some good ones there, and uh, hell, even 3.5. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, there's definitely some funny stuff in there. There usually is, but uh, wasn't paying attention, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you've been reading that. <laughs> there's always some good stuff in there. Is that going to be an outro? Or is it just going to be the screen? Nope. Alright. Well, that is Wallace and Gromit Episode 4, The Bogeyman, and therefore the conclusion to Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have, and uh, recommend it to others. Please, get people to buy it so I can play more of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm selfish like that, but uh, you guys will be profiting from that too, so uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you guys next time. See you, dudes.